Okay, I got the wheel off, and as you can see, I started to just see how easy it might be to peel. You can see where I've started to peel this off. Um, comes off actually pretty easy, just might be coming coming off in little bits. Um, this wheel, like I said, has been covered for about a year, and uh, it's gotten pretty dirty. I've tried to keep it clean. Uh, let's look at the back. Uh, you can see that's where they mounted the the weights, and there's one up near the front. It's pretty dirty. I'm gonna clean all this up, strip it, and let's see what we can do to get the thing to be black again. Um, it's uh, the temperature out here right now is 50 something degrees, so it's not the warmest day, and uh, that usually makes it a little bit harder to get this off. If I have a lot of problem, I will. Um, I will probably uh, get out the heat gun and just warm it up. But I'm in the sun now, so it should be warming up since it's black. And uh, I'll give it a shot and I'll, I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like as I start to peel this. As I grab a piece here, it's easy to grab with uh, fingers. You can see I can almost rub it off. And as I rub, the chunk comes off. And you see how easy that stuff is to peel. Be nice to get it off in one piece but I doubt that's gonna happen especially near the edges and I've been uh, I've been cleaning this with my grits grits uh, wheel cleaner stuff like that pretty much uh, every week or so scrubbing it get the brake dust off and uh, I'll tell you this stuff really holds up well even around the bolt holes where I've had these on and off a couple times and I dipped the uh, center cap too and trimmed around it. It came up really pretty good. Um, I'm really pleased with this stuff and uh, I guess I'll just start continuing to peel this off uh, and I'll take a break from videoing just to focus on it for a little bit and I'll show you what kind of progress I make uh, as I continue doing this. And you can see I make some progress. I think because it's taking me so long and I think it's because it's cold um, what I'm going to do is just peel back to this edge and it looks like then I could just respray the barrel um, where the weights are. I'm not too worried about how the inside looks as much as the outside. I couldn't just respray the outside. And uh, a couple times this stuff's come up pretty easy. You know, you start getting it going. But uh, boy, that's how easy it is, really. If it was warmer out, I probably would get this off in bigger pieces. Um, and you can see the finish of the wheel underneath is perfect. No marring, nothing. I mean, it's as clean as it was when I put it on. So I know I have a couple little nicks and scratches on these wheels, which is why I dedicate them to experiment number one with the dip. And uh, I will continue to use this stuff. It's really cool. And I'll see how it, it does through the winter. I haven't, last year I put it on, uh, I didn't really get too much use in the the bad weather with these the dip on it but uh, I'm gonna try that this year see how it holds up in this northeast here um, so I'll keep peeling this I'm gonna peel the front off I'm gonna wash the whole thing and then I'll uh, I'll probably respray tonight I have a party to go to so I don't know if I'll get to it but see what the wife wants me to do back soon um, but uh, I can tell you that the technique on this to get it off you're not going to get too many big pieces unless you went really thick with the paint. So that's a note to self is to, when I recoat this, I'm going to do maybe six or eight coats versus four or five. I think I did four on this wheel. Um, and I found that in spots where it was thickest, it came off a lot easier. Um, I found the technique to get this stuff off is you really got to kind of rub it more than pull it. You can see what happens, a lot of it flakes off, but when you rub it, it kind of comes off pretty easy, just in very small. So I'm not surprised to see it's still there, but really nicely, the finish of the wheel is very nice um, still. And I'll completely clean this and, and uh, probably clay it and all that kind of stuff before I redip it. But I've, it's taken me about an hour to get to this. <laughs> um, so I am going to, I have to stop because I have to do some dad stuff. 
um, and I'll probably have to get back to this tomorrow. Uh, so taking this long for one wheel, then a wash, then dip, we'll see how long it takes overall. But uh, I'll share with you all what's, uh, what the progress is tomorrow. Like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna strip the front sides of all this and in here um, and then clean the whole wheel. And I'm not gonna strip the dip off the inside of the wheel. I'm just gonna spray over it, clean it and spray over it because it's already black, no reason to peel it all. Um, I just had to re peel this out here. Um, and uh, hopefully I can get this sprayed tomorrow. It's supposed to be another nice day, and uh, maybe 60 degrees tomorrow, so I'll try and get these out in the sun. More to come. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm finally using the heat gun. This is a little cheapy. Um, it's making a huge difference in how long it takes to get this stuff off. So, as I thought, heat plays a big factor. Uh, so if you're in a climate like I am, where right now it's only about 45 degrees out here, um, you definitely need to take by heat. I also found um, <coughs> there are spots, <coughs> like, <coughs> like this one, that I can just feel the, the dip went on very thin right there for some reason. So, a couple things you can do is like I did, apply heat and just keep rubbing at it. Or what I've uh, read but not tried is actually s just spraying over this spot. And then if you get a thick enough layer, it bonds to the dip that's already there and then it'll come off a lot easier. Um, I don't really want to spray over this right now, so I'm just gonna keep doing this until it's gone. And like I said, applying heat helps a lot uh, on this. I just went through all these blades here really fast with the heat gun. Um, you don't want to get too hot, of course, and I found that the technique with the heat gun is heat it and then rub it with your fingers, and it pretty much comes right off. There's some little spots, I think, that I have to get back to, again, that are really thin areas, but just rub them and the, it'll come off, and um, I'll keep going. I should be done this, uh, like I said, maybe in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, and then touch up, and then I'm going to go back and polish up the wheel, clean it up, I mean, and then polish it. You can see there's some marks from rubbing this off. Okay, so 15 minutes later, I've got most of it off. There's some really tough spots that uh, even the heat wasn't helping me get off. Like right there, it's real thin, super thin. I can barely even feel the difference. It's, it's almost like embedded, so bonded. Um, so I'm gonna try something else and I'll show you guys how it works. Um, basically, uh, I did you know, my full research. Uh, I went into uh, YouTube took a look at uh, the topic of removing plastic dip and there's some good videos on there from people that have posted. Uh, one in particular was how to really easily remove um, plastic dip from wheels uh, and I'm gonna try it. It's um, You basically take a WD-40 and you spray the area um, and uh, basically uh, let it sit for a couple minutes and then it should wipe off. Um, now I wouldn't do this on my if I had this mounted on the car, because I'd be worried about getting WD-40 overspray or whatever into the brake area. So I would advise against that, but if you can control where the spray goes, you could try it there. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's, uh, let's spray a little bit in this area right here. Just let it soak in for a couple minutes. And then it says to just take a, a rag and be able to wipe, you should be able to wipe it right off. Um, I guess it does some kind of chemical reaction breaks down the, the dip um, so wait a couple moments I guess maybe I'll, I'll give a couple shots to another spot too let it sit into that um, now it's probably getting on the back of the wheel too the barrel I'm just gonna overspray the barrel so I'll, I might have to figure out how to get the WD-40 out of the way there um, so that it doesn't uh, so that the, the new plastic dip bonds but uh, Let's give this a shot. I'm just going to take that spot that I just sprayed and rub it. And boy, I'll tell you, it's easier than rubbing it with my hand. I probably could have let it sit a little bit longer and it probably would have come off even better. Um, but boy, that is the way to do it, I think, for any areas that you can't really get off. And I didn't spray down in there too much. Um, I'll probably hit that again. Um, 
So I think I found my new favorite way to get this stuff off. And then, you know, I'll make sure the wheel's completely clean before, um, and any residue's gone before I hit it up again. Now I noticed on the, the wheel in this area, it's kind of a weird finish there. I wonder if that's like a bad finish area in the paint. Um, let's see, I did this spot here. Let's rub that. Oh yeah, it comes right off. And again, I probably could have sprayed it more heavily and wiped it, uh, let it sit more. But I'll tell you, that's pretty darn good how it just came off. It's almost like just removing sticker residue with WD-40 or Goo Gone or something. There's a, a slight residue there. You can tell by the finish and where my finger leaves a mark, but again, I'm gonna scrub the wheel down anyway. So I think I'm going to complete the rest of these spots uh, with the uh, WD-40 trick. And uh, thanks to those uh, that posted that on, on YouTube. It's very helpful. Okay. Uh, Ten minutes later, using the WD-40 method, definitely got a lot more of that stuff off. And everything I wanted to get done on the face. Um, I left some areas in there, around here. I just left them as dipped the pr the dip that was there just because uh those aren't areas you're going to see especially with the cap in here i'm not really worried about them um there's a little bit of spots around this the valve stem that uh i didn't really get in there too good but uh i'm going to spray over everything so um and see how it goes i didn't do the back yet you can see uh back is kind of dirty and when they mounted the, the weights uh, they had to clean off a bunch of the space it looks like they probably used some kind of chemical maybe they used WD-40 uh, at any rate um, I'm gonna spray the whole back of this after I clean it really good with wheel cleaner and remove any of the grease and stuff and then I'm gonna spray the whole thing um, I don't really spray the back of the spokes I don't really care about those too much just, I like to make sure that the barrel's black so you don't see it through the, the wheel. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start cleaning and hopefully get this done shortly. This is just one, one of the, the wheels. Now this is the worst wheel, meaning uh, the face of this wheel was the worst off from the mounting process. And uh, I think I got it pretty good now. So I can just start cleaning it and then respray it today. Get it back on the car. Okay, I am done cleaning, scrubbing the wheel, P21S, all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm just going to spray over the barrel first. I like to do the barrel first because if there's any overspray um, that hits the face, spokes, whatever, uh, I can make sure to cover those up when I do the front or the, the spokes. As you can see this is all ready to go. And I uh, made sure it's thoroughly dry. I let it sit for a little while. Make sure I got any uh, any oils or grease off the wheel as best I could, uh, and we're gonna start spraying. I'm gonna do it outside. Uh, there's not much breeze. Um, hopefully, uh, there's not too much carry because I have a white car nearby. <laughs> that one, my wife, uh, that uh, probably will get some overspray on it. But oh well, um, she's turning that car in in a couple months uh, for a different car. So um, anyway, I'm gonna start uh, spraying. Okay, so here I am uh, a little while later. <laughs> uh, I'm on my, I think this is the third coat. Um, the wheel, I usually wait at 20, 25 minutes between coats. Can says 30, but I'm in the sun. It seems like it's drying really fast. Um, if I was in my garage in the shade or something, I, I might wait a little longer. Um, and uh, it's been going on really nice. The temperature out today is about 51 degrees. So I just make sure that the cans are warmed up in the sun and shaken.